more 600 million years of geological time, these animals have been in our oceans. The body is like a box. The tentacles extend from each corner. They're gelatinous. They look clear. They have eyes, they can see, they can hunt their prey, yet they don't have a brain. And then they can see us swimming in their area. Some of them live in shallow mangrove areas. Others live at depths between 300 feet and 1,000 meters even. Places where people recently have been dying are Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, and Northern Australia, where there are these lethal stingers. Box jellyfish cause more deaths per year than do sharks. Some of them can kill within five minutes. These stings lead to a horrific necrotic injury that occurs within minutes, like a, a flaming hot iron laid on their skin. If they survive, these lead to lifelong keloid scars. This is Kaimana Beach, and this is a really important place for me because this is where my whole jellyfish career started. I was out here swimming in 1997, July. I was headed to do my usual swim. And a woman told me not to go, and she pointed on the shore. There were little three-inch by two-inch clear glistening blobs. And I really thought that couldn't be very serious. After almost 45 minutes of swimming, all of a sudden I felt something stab my neck. And I thought I ran over a ghost fishing line. It felt like pinpricks, but then it was like electric shock moved my hand on my neck and there was nothing there. It was sort of a, a, a stringy, like elastic thing. And I was like, what is this? And so I dove down to get away from whatever was floating and I came back up and my arms and my feet and my neck was now burning. It was excruciating, absolutely excruciating. I couldn't even speak. And then I did collapse. And I came to and I was in an ambulance. I was told it was very serious and it's life-threatening. And that led me on this path as a biochemist to say, what is in that venom? How could, how could something so tiny and flimsy cause that much problem? First thing I did was a literature search to see what was known about these animals. What I found was that these venoms have uniquely rapid-acting cytolytic agents called porins that act within seconds, and they act at nanogram levels, tens of thousand times more active than the porins from anemone. My goal right now is to lessen the human suffering and loss of life, to bring these technologies to the place in the world where it matters most. So far, we've come up with this uh, spray and cream formulation. The spray is vinegar plus urea to get the tentacle off, which almost glues itself to the, to the victim. And then the cream has these actives that inhibit the venom. It's easy to cast the jellyfish as the sinister culprit evil uh, beings from, from the deep out to get us. We have to ask ourselves what role we play. When we deplete over fish, for instance, or remove sea turtles from the equation that are like vacuum cleaners of jellyfish, there's a downside. It, we really have to consider uh, internationally our management of ocean resources. Box jellyfish certainly have a well-deserved uh, sinister uh, reputation, but just the, the glorious sophistication of the venom of the vision, uh, the ability to swim. I find it a fascinating and quite beautiful animal. <laughs>